Welcome back to Because You Asked. I'm Barry Nussbaum. The whole world is talking today about Trump's new sanctions on the Islamic Republic of Iran. If you remember several months ago when Trump withdrew the United States from the JCPOA, the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, which is the Iran nuclear deal, he promised that if Iran didn't reform and change their evil ways, there would be very big economic consequences. Well, today, those economic consequences hit and the whole world is talking about absolutely nothing else. So if it's about Iran, we have our expert, Annie Inaz Cyrus, to explain to us what happened today. The question is, why is today so significant with these new sanctions on Iran? Annie, welcome back. Always good to be with you. So tell me, the sanctions hit this week. The whole world is talking about nothing else but these sanctions. Everybody has an opinion, and I want to know your opinion. Why are these sanctions so significant and different from what's ever happened up till this week, Annie? Well, let me start from here. Um, I'm sure a lot of our audience already know, but two years ago, I actually suggested this very action where I said we need to put the sanctions back. Not only that, we need to make very, very harsh rules and stick with them. We do have to get united. European countries, American countries, North America, all the countries, they need to unite. The first thing is put all the sanctions back in place. The second thing is you have to make serious steps mm -hmm. toward the regime, come up with better laws against them. So if they try to move forward, there will be a retaliation, not just from Israel, but the united countries behind Israel. Reason. Well, as we all know, when Obama administration or Obama, um, President Obama himself came up with the Iran nuclear deal, it wasn't much of a deal. It was a handout to the regime of Iran, which is known as Islamic Republic of Iran, and they're basically number one backing of terrorism. So back then, what we did was we handed them a hell of a lot of money, and we took away all the sanctions. We openly let them do whatever they wanted to do. So by new sanctions coming back in the picture, the Islamic Republic of Iran's regime will absolutely collapse, not having what it needs to continue controlling the terrorism in the Middle East, and that is money. We are hitting them hard economically, and that is the best thing we could ever do. Well, I think we're going to see a tremendous shift in the Middle East. I talked about this uh, earlier on another network today. There is literally terror being exported by Iran all over the Middle East. Uh, Hezbollah, Islamic Jihad, Hamas, the Houthi rebels are all clients of Iran. And the Iran Revolutionary Guard is basically running the country of Lebanon and Syria. When the money gets cut off, they're going to have a big problem at home. And let's talk about that. What's going on now in Iran as a result of these sanctions hitting? Well, here's the interesting part. Uh, about a week ago, before there was a finalized decision on the sanctions, the people of Iran were already marching the streets saying, no Palestine, no Syria, we're going to work on Iran. Actually, that rhymes in English too. But anyways, uh, they were already sick and tired of their money, their rights to be handed over to terrorism in other countries. And they started this, you know, revolutionary movement. And then as soon as the sanctions were announced, what happened was in Tehran, the biggest bazaar or biggest market in Tehran, every single store owner, business owner of money exchange stores, gold stores, stores that sell coins, they all came out and literally stood in front of their stores and announced that they're not going to open business. They literally announced they're done and they're going to attack the regime within the country economically to stop them from sending money to terrorism, which to me, honestly, as an Iranian, I am so proud of them for doing this. 
Well, let me stop you right there. Are you, this is really important. Are you saying that the average citizen, at least the merchants in the capital of Tehran, are aware that the mullahs are sending tremendous amounts of money out of the country to support terrorism instead of spending the billions that Obama gave them on the country's infrastructure, on support for the people, on in internal economic uh, stimulus, on social services. The regular person in Iran knows about this? Oh, absolutely. Let me tell you how they know about this. Because every Friday, the Supreme Leader or the leader of the Friday prayer comes on a stage and inform the people of Iran how much money specifically was sent to their Muslim brothers in Palestine, Syria, Lebanon, Hezbollah, or any of those countries. They give numbers and they all go, Allah is the greatest because now we can support our Muslim brothers in takeover of Western countries. Of course people know because it's literally shoved in their faces every day letting them know how much they're not important. <laughs> <laughs> really bad public relations by the mullahs in Tehran. I'll tell you what, um, bigger sanctions are coming in November when Trump is going to shut off the oil coming out of Iran if the mullahs last that long. I think the big question is what will happen right now? The response out of Iran this week is demanding a full apology from President Trump for everything the United States has done, get this, going back to 1953. That didn't sound like much of a concession to demand that the American president apologize for the last 65 years of American foreign policy. Oh, exactly. And, and that was the interesting part because when uh, Rouhani put out a tweet making threats that if, if, you know, if we don't behave, we as Americans, if American government doesn't start behaving, they got to do this and that. I was actually sitting there, I'm like, honestly, they know they're going down. They know they have no chance, but they still have the nerve to show some tough, you know, reaction there. I'm like, okay. But what I can tell you is, as I said, again, two years ago, I said it, about two months ago, I said it, the best way we can help my fellow Iranians and people of Iran in the revolution they're trying to create is to cut the money flow to the regime. If they don't have money, they don't have power. And at the moment, that's what is scaring them. With the new sanctions, forget about the harsher one coming on November. Just the new ones is going to get them in so much trouble. I'll tell you what, it's going to be very interesting for us who are so concerned about that part of the world, Annie, to, to watch what happens in the coming weeks. Will the uh, Revolutionary Guard shoot people down in the streets by the thousands like they did during the Green Revolution. And if that happens, what will be the response from the United States? We know that Obama did nothing and watched the slaughter from the sidelines. It's going to be very interesting to see what President Trump does. Uh, exactly, especially the fact that he already put few tweets out informing my fellow Iranians that he is with the people of Iran. Well, I, I hope he is. We are going to follow up on this story. I'm going to have you back probably next week to see what happens. Thank you for writing in about this. Everybody wants to know about the sanctions on Because You Asked, and the reason we're here is to answer your questions. Remember, Check us out on americantruthproject.org. You can write to either one of us there, and we promise to get back to you. Thanks for watching. I'm Barry Newsbaum.